How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and I've got some really cool console news, and this time it revolves around the PlayStation 4, so anyways, let's get started. Alright, so some pretty cool news coming out of the Sony camp. The main headline is that PlayStation 4 Party Chat will be free for users, and that the friends list will be up to 2 thousand people so that is a relatively huge number uh, I think like some social media sites obviously Twitter is unlimited how many followers you could have uh, I believe Facebook is around 5,000 friends uh, you can have playing or, or have on your friends list at one time and uh, it's really cool to see that they're jumping up to 2,000 so Major Nelson mentioned at um, you know it was E3 where he essentially said that it was going to be unlimited but he had like quotes around that meaning no one's going to have like 8,000 friends that they could have added. I mean, it's possible, but I don't know if everyone's going to have added, uh, you know, 8,000 friends. But it is a relatively huge jump compared to the, you know, minuscule 100 that we are limited to right now. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that, and I'm going to talk about some of it, some of the issues you might have, and some of the issues us YouTubers might have with this issue. So getting off the bat, uh, the reason that the PlayStation 3 did not have party chat is that they didn't have enough RAM uh, allocated to the operating system. So uh, basically, since this is a gaming console and it doesn't have programs to run like Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox and you know Adobe programs, it's essentially just the operating system and then RAM allocated towards games. And unfortunately, it was a good and bad thing for the PlayStation 3. They had a lot of RAM allocated towards games, making it look beautiful, processed smoothly, but they didn't allocate enough towards their operating system and they didn't have enough RAM to include party chat. Party chat is one of the main, you know, giant features of Xbox Live, meaning you can talk to people who are playing different games, who are doing different things without having to interrupt the flow of what you're doing in your game. And I think that is a really cool concept, and that is going to be coming to the PlayStation 4, because this time the PlayStation 4 has allocated enough RAM for their operating system and enough RAM for their games. I think it was like a 5.5 uh, and 3.5 split, so uh, it's a pretty good amount of RAM for each. Considering the Xbox was made eight years ago and the PlayStation 3 eight years ago, uh, when they were putting less than a gigabyte of RAM into computers at some times, now we're seeing eight in a console that, um, and you think eight gigabytes of RAM for a computer, which is average, you know, that's the standard for today, a little bit above average. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong, that's a really nice computer. But for a console, eight gigabytes of RAM is money. You're, you're living in the money zone right there because there's so much less to do all it has to do is focus on its operating system and its gaming so eight gigabytes can go a long way so the next thing I want to talk about, obviously, friends list going up to 2,000. The issue with friends list today is I receive a ton of friend requests, and when I get friend requests, that takes up my friends list spot. So I'm going to be honest with you. I only have about 50 Xbox Live friends. I only friend people who I know I'm going to play with at some time or another. Uh, I'm not going to be having, you know, randoms on there that, uh, you know, I might talk to like once a century. So I uh, keep it relatively limited. But because I'm a YouTuber whose gamer tag is in the limelight quite a bit, um, some people send me friend requests, and when I get these friend requests it takes up spots that I might have to add other people and I'm wondering if this will be an issue with 2,000 people can you imagine getting a thousand friend requests in the span of a week you know that would be way overload so what I want to see is the ability to separate friend requests and probably put it into messages and keeping your friends list separate and, and just making it easier to organize because with 2,000 people, um, I would like to see some sort of list system. So I don't know how it operates as well on the PlayStation Network because I use my PlayStation to play single player games like The Last of Us and Heavy Rain. But on the Xbox uh, 360, uh, it's tough to scroll down. You can only use the left trigger and the right trigger to like jump like eight at a time. But if you have 2,000 friends, that's going to take a while to navigate eight at a time. What I would like to see is a search feature. So if you go on Facebook and you want to look at some of your friends, you can type in their first name, Ryan, and then a list of Ryans will pop up. Or what you can do is search by R's. So if you want to go from Ryan to, you know, Rodney, I don't, I don't know, I'm making up R names right here. Uh, you can do that as well. So I think that would be a nice way and a nice change to uh, easily navigate and flow through the system in a much better process. I mean, it is 2013. If they don't come up with an easy, simple, yet sophisticated way to design this friends list spot, I think it's going to be a huge issue because I know that on the PlayStation Network and the Xbox 360, it is very clumsy and very clunky when you're trying to organize your friends, get friend request spots, etc., and it's not a good time. I remember early on in the PlayStation 3, you couldn't accept friend requests unless you were on the PlayStation Network dashboard, I guess you could say. You couldn't accept games, or you couldn't accept a friend request from a guy you were playing Call of Duty with. You'd have to write his name down, you know, go to the dashboard, etc. So hopefully they have all these little issues 
uh, resolved and it'll be pretty easy and pretty seamless going forward anyways guys my name is mr boss of the winds just i love great news when consoles come out with great news i think it's a good time you know we're all about improving things here as much as we love console wars it's great to see when a console makes an improvement and i think sony and the playstation 4 are doing that as we speak anyways guys like i said take care thanks for watching and of course i'll talk to you guys in the next video